Welcome to this Tutor to You topic video that looks at the opportunities in Lagos. This is part of Paper 2, Unit A, Urban Issues and Challenges. Push factors have led to huge numbers of people leaving rural areas of Nigeria in search of a better quality of life in Lagos. There are several factors that make life challenging in rural areas in Nigeria. These include healthcare and education services being poor. There is a lack of access to even the basic services in some parts of the countryside. Population growth has also led to land shortages and many people don't have enough land to farm on and in some cases this has led to dispute. There are also few job opportunities other than farming and farming is physically hard work with low or unreliable wages. Land is degraded by farming and other activities. For example, in the Niger Delta, parts of this area have been polluted by oil spills and nothing can grow. This causes a loss of income for both farmers and fishermen. And you can see on the screen an image of some huge oil storage tanks along the River Delta. So there is also a visual impact on the environment there. And finally, changing climate is making the climate less predictable. So droughts are more common, which is speeding up the process of desertification. And at the other end of the scale, floods are more severe. Rural areas in Nigeria also face a threat of terrorist groups such as Boko Haram. This extremist group opposes Western-style education and democracy and wants to establish an Islamic state within Nigeria governed by Sharia law. They are quite active in rural parts of Nigeria. They try to get their message across through suicide bombings, mass abductions and armed raids on villages and military posts. Over the years, they have killed tens of thousands and displaced millions of people and humanitarian crises persist in areas affected by their violence, including famine, displacement and disrupted education. On the screen, there is a picture of a displacement camp for refugees from people that have fled violence from terrorists. Lagos offers many pool factors. These are locational advantages for both the people who live there, but also for businesses that locate there, which is why the city has seen such rapid economic growth, which then encourages further in-migration and investment. The graphic on screen summarises these advantages. We can see the coastal location of the Atlantic Ocean, therefore it's easy to export goods. The construction of industry, you've got easy access by rail. You've also obviously got the fact that it's got the port port function with the Lagos port complex. There is an educated and skilled workforce in Lagos. There's easy access by air and it's also easy to access by road. So let's have a look at some of these advantages in a bit more detail. One huge pull factor for Lagos is better employment opportunities. Lagos offers a much greater range of employment opportunities than anywhere else in the country, even the capital city of Abuja. In rural areas, people are limited to primary work such as farming, fishing and mining, which are all hard and they often end up working in dangerous conditions for low pay. Whereas in Lagos, the majority of jobs are in the secondary or tertiary sectors. There are many jobs in manufacturing that reflect the huge increase in industry in the city and tertiary jobs such as lawyers, businessmen, computing and finance are in demand. Many of these jobs will be in the formal sector where workers will pay tax on their earnings and have enough to send back home to family members. But there will also be informal jobs such as working as a street vendor or recycling waste. These jobs are not taxed and workers don't receive benefits such as pensions and sick pay, but they still enable people to earn more than they would have done previously in rural areas. Lagos also offers better educational opportunities. It has a huge number of schools with over 1,400 primary schools, more than 500 secondary schools and 42 international schools. Additionally, there are more than 130 universities. People move to Lagos to get the education needed to access the tertiary jobs that are found in the city as they know that better qualifications will mean they can earn more money and have a better quality of life. People see education as a way to get out of farming and to be able to get into industries such as finance, film, fashion and business which are all important growth sectors in Lagos. In addition the city offers access to healthcare. Healthcare facilities in rural parts of Nigeria are very poor. A lack of access to doctors, nurses and medication often means that people die from curable diseases, particularly the most vulnerable members of society, such as children and the elderly. 
Despite Nigeria's status as a mint country that has seen huge economic growth, the life expectancy is still only 62. And this is affected by poor healthcare in rural areas. People moving to Lagos view the city as a place where their health will be less at risk and their life expectancy will increase. The inhabitants of the city will be much closer to their nearest clinic or hospital than those living in rural areas, although they still may have to queue for long periods if they cannot afford to pay for medicines. Another pool factor is the better transport links. Lagos is a vast city. Its transport links have been improved as part of its strategic transport master plan, meaning that people in Lagos are able to travel around the city easily and cheaply to access other work opportunities. There is a rapid bus transit system, which is used by 200,000 people daily. And this is supplemented by a fleet of mini bus taxis known as Danfos, which are pictured on the screen. There is also the Lagos Rail Mass Transit System with a number of planned railway lines across the city as well as a waterway network of ferries to enable people to travel efficiently around Lagos using the various waterways of which there are many. Finally, Lagos offers more reliable access to important utilities such as electricity and water. Although the electricity supply in Lagos is in short supply and is very temperamental, it is in a much better state than in the rural areas where people may struggle to find electricity at all. The most wealthy households within the city and businesses rely on generators to provide power when the network fails. However, two new power stations are planned to reduce the city's shortage of electricity and also to light the streets at night to increase safety. Water supply is also temperamental across Lagos, with only the wealthiest homes having pipe water. Other people rely on public taps and boreholes or they buy their water from street vendors. However, this is still much better than in rural areas where people could be walking miles to get fresh water to drink. That concludes this Tutor to You topic video focusing on the opportunities in Lagos. Thank you for watching.